Hi everybody, I'm Michelle Lyons and welcome to my Endo update. What's new and why now? Well, in 2020, I published my female pelvic pain rehab course and hundreds of women's healthcare pros all over the world have done the course. But there's been, thankfully, a lot of good research coming out about endometriosis between then and now. So I thought it was time for an update, but I want to make sure this information gets out to everybody who needs it, everybody who works with people who have endometriosis to help them live well. The female pelvic pain rehab course has been updated and expanded. So the updated and expanded uh, interstitial cystitis, bladder pain syndrome and vulvodynia sections are already in place. Now, the endometriosis update could be a mini course in its own right, but I'm going to put it all together. So this course really will be the one stop shop for all your endo needs. What do we know? What's new? First of all, we're looking at some updated definitions of endometriosis. And that's due to this great paper that came out at the end of 2022 from Horn et al. And in this paper, they talk about the recognition of endometriosis as a multi-system inflammatory condition that affects the whole body. And of course, this means we need a multi-system anti-inflammatory approach. Yes, we're still looking at laparoscopic excision, but it's so much more now. So what's that going to look like? And we also have to think about with all the symptoms that we know accompany a diagnosis of endometriosis the two big ones really that we we might think about initially might be menstrual pain but we also have to think about non-menstrual pain and which is more distressing well this paper um really really rich paper talks about how the non-menstrual pain can actually be more distressing for people who have endometriosis because at least with the menstrual pain they can prepare for it but it's this up and down, you know, constant pain. Is it bowel? Is it bladder? Is it endo? Is it pelvic floor? Is it joint pain? Is it headaches? Is it back pain? And it's actually the non-menstrual pain that lots of folks find even more distressing. So these are going to be little brief snapshots of some of the papers that I discuss in full in the course. Um, in part two of the endo update, which will be winging its way towards you tomorrow, we're going to look at some of the new research that's come out about nutrition, specifically for helping with that anti-inflammatory benefit that we know is so important to help people with endometriosis live well. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and bye for now.